Hi everybody, this is Mike here from the Trailer Depot. Today we're doing a video on a Fedlite uh, Gooseneck Livestock Trailer. Uh, this is an 8107, I'm sorry, 8127 model. Uh, that's which commercial quality Gooseneck Livestock Trailer. Uh, this particular one is a seven and a half foot wide by 20 foot long with a seven foot interior height. So it's designed for the larger animals and even designed to be able to help haul horses with that extra interior height. Uh, a couple things I'd like to point out up in the front. Uh, Featherlight uses an all molded wiring harness. So they've got uh, everything is plug and play. There's no uh, butt connectors, no, and none of the types of electrical connectors that give you problems over time. So all throughout the trailer, you've got nice sealed molded plugs uh, inside as well as on the outside to replace. If you ever had a gooseneck, I mean, a problem with your light cord, you can very easily replace it right here with just a plug and play situation. Uh, two other things, uh, all Fedlite trailers use easy lube axles, which are a greasable axle and never adjust brakes. So the brakes are automatic self adjusters. So they um, will automatically, as you're traveling, you don't have to worry about adjusting the brakes. They'll do that themselves automatically. This trailer I mentioned was a seven and a half foot wide uh, with a tapered nose on it. So it's tapered down to six foot in the front of the trailer. Um, that allows you to be able to tow it with a short bed pickup truck without any problem. And a trailer like this is so light that uh, you could tow it with a short bed, uh, even a half ton truck. We've had plenty of people that haul, haul these trailers with a half ton truck, which is, which is great. Spare tire on the front, drop leg jack. Uh, another neat application is a removable jack handle and that stores up underneath uh, right up in there in the front underneath the gooseneck out of the way so you don't have to worry about it. Escape door on the side, 32 inch escape door. Uh, your side panels all set up to be able to accommodate plexiglass. Uh, two bolts right here and this piece of molding comes off and you can slide your plexi in uh, as much as you want. You can one air space, both air spaces, close the whole thing right off. Um, all LED lights are standard on the fed light, dual stop lights, so down low and up high for visibility. Uh, safe, secure, smart, fed lights logo, they love that. Everything is really designed not only for safety of the animal, but also for the safety of the uh, people that are hauling the trailer and uh, people that are behind you, so you're not going to have to worry about getting rear-ended because of the visibility. Um, all these 8127s come with both a uh, slider on the end gate as well as a full swing end gate. So here if you want to back up to a shoot at the uh, sale barn or something you could load livestock in from the off to one side or if you're loading horses or other types of animals out of the field then it's a nice easy step up. Heavy duty rubber, rubber dock bumper at the back here and if you notice that the dock bumper is tucked underneath here. So you know, as the animals are getting off, of course, they're going to be stepping right here, manure and everything get, wants to get shoved down in between the trailer and that dock bumper. So a little feature like that, Fed Light does, puts that little lip under there, the dock bumper's tucked underneath. And also underneath here, we've got a skid plate. So that's between the uh, last cross member and the rear door frame, so it protects that rear door frame. Uh, we'll come on inside and we'll show you a couple of the other things on the inside of the trailer. Uh, seven and a half foot wide trailer, so that gives you a little fender on the inside of the trail. But if you notice the way the fender's tapered really high all the way down, you don't have any, any have to worry about any animals getting cut on the fenders or being stepping on the fenders or getting hurt in any way on those fenders because they're nice and smooth. Uh, same thing with the center gate. We've got a slider in the center gate, so if you've got calves or something you want to cut out of the front here, you can do that easily. Or you've got horses up there, you want to keep them tied up and check on them. Uh, then a full swing again on the center gate too. Nice heavy duty slam latch. It's got a big chain here to hold the thing open when you're, if you want to transport going down the road. Uh, one thing I didn't point out is uh, the switch for the dome lights is recessed right here in the rear door frame. Uh, this one we optioned in with two dome lights, they're LEDs, recessed up in the top, nice and flush. And the other thing, this is a new feature the past couple years of Fed Lights done. You got one handle to drop your drop gate up here. Uh, you can use this for storage or anything you want up in the neck. Uh, goes up and down nice and easily, locks in, very simple to use. Uh, seven foot tall, gives you enough height to be able to uh, accommodate horses um, or anything else, any other type of livestock or equipment. I mean, we've had people use these to haul tractors, they, you can, anything you can imagine. The trailers are so rugged you can't, you can't beat them. This is Mike from the Trailer Depot doing a video on a Fedlite 8127 uh, gooseneck livestock trailer. Seven and a half foot wide, 20 foot long, all aluminum. Um, you can find us on the web at thetrailerdepot.com, like us on Facebook, and also check out our YouTube channel. Thanks and have a great one.